Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share the message that I read from the website regarding rapture. This message was posted yesterday on September 23, 2022. The title of the message is Jesus is coming soon. Here is the message. Beloved, I want to share with you some of the night visions I have had for a long time of the end times. But did you know that the rapture is at hand? Because I'm telling the truth that we are all living at the last minute on earth, and the time we live now are the last days or dangerous times. Every day you live on earth, you must do your best to always remain faithful to God. One night in a night vision, I saw myself preaching in the bus, then after I got off the bus, someone also got off the bus and started calling me servant of God. Then after that, I saw myself sitting on a chair and a table in front of me with my phone on the table. Then suddenly my phone started vibrating strongly. Then I reached out to the phone to know why, why it was vibrating. Then immediately the phone screen showed a message saying, Jesus Christ, the King of all kings, coming soon. And I saw that many scriptures were written with that message to prove that he would definitely come. And I also noticed that the message was not in computer text, even though it was displayed over the phone in vision, but seemed to be in a complete different handwriting. So after I read that, then the night vision ends. We are at the end of the end of time. Please know that we are at the end of the last days on earth and Jesus Christ will come very soon, sooner than you think. Beloved, I also got another night vision. I saw that it looked like a rapture had happened. Then I saw people even in marketplaces, leaving their marketplaces and running away. Then some other people who work for the devil caught a lot of people and started forced them to accept the mark on their hands. But I see some people have received the mark. In another vision, I saw that after the rapture, it was hell on earth. For those who were left behind, many people were severely punished to receive the mark of the beast. There was one I saw rejecting the mark. Then those who worked for the devil made large vehicle to crush him and crush his feet. It is hell on earth for those who are left behind. Then this vision ended. God wants you to be saved. Beloved, why the rapture was delayed is that God wants you to be saved. The Bible says that it is not God's will for anyone to perish, but for everyone to repent. Those who will be left behind on that day will suffer greatly. But now there is still a chance for you to repent and be saved. Born again, your sins are blotted out, and make sure you continue to live in holiness and fear God. Repent. Now the warning is intense. The battle is intense. The end is near. Remember, this may be your last warning. Please repent if you are an uh, apostate, adulterer, hypocrite, liar. Repent, repent, because there is no time left. Time is running out. The king of all kings comes soon. Repent, get rid of all worldliness, unforgiveness, envy, anger, hatred, strife, gossip, bitterness, jealousy. Be holy inside and outside. Do not put your eternal soul in danger of punishment just because of worldliness, sin, and lust. Be holy because God is holy, and nothing impure or unclean will enter into his kingdom. If you must be with Jesus Christ when he comes, then repent of all your sins. Live a holy life to the end because, behold, the King of kings will come when you do not know. On the day of the rapture, the number of those who go in rapture will be very few compared to those who will be left behind. Just as in the days of Noah, so in these last days, many are not prepared for the flood because they thought it would not happen, so that so many perish in Noah's day. So in these last days, many people's love for God has grown cold, many have lost their lives no longer preparing for the rapture because they think it wouldn't happen. But let me tell you today that the rapture is at the door. Everything is applied in heaven to welcome the bride of Christ, who is the church. 
Also, all the signs of the Christ's coming has been fulfilled for the appointment to happen. Jesus loves you. Oh, that many may prepare for His coming. Oh, I hope many heed this last warning. Jesus loves you and He wants to remind you that He still come to bring you home to the place has been prepared for you in heaven. The Savior is prepared for you. Are you ready for Him? Decide today to turn away from all your sins and serve God. Examine your life daily and prepare earnestly for the rapture. Born again, accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Repent from all your sin. Always pray, read, study, and meditate on the Word of God. Tell many people about Christ. Get out for evangelism for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He comes sooner than you expect. He comes very soon. Be ready for Him because He loves you. God's grace be with your spirit. Amen. God bless you. Source, Apostle Michael Felix. That's the message, brothers and sisters. Please take it to the Lord in prayers. If we see what is happening in the world lately, almost all the signs are here, brothers and sisters. I would rather share the message about repentance and holiness that will lead us to the narrow path to heaven than the comfortable message by saying all of us will go in rapture or to heaven that will lead us to live carelessly in the broad way to hell. All the message that I share here is because of love. This is a warning and not a condemnation nor a judgment. Let God be the judge. I don't want to see any of us left behind here when rapture takes place. So while we still have time, let us take heed to the warning from the Lord and prepare ourselves for the very soon coming of Jesus. That's all the message, brothers and sisters. Hope this could encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.